where he's at and what he's doing and maybe assist. We're going to zoom in a little tighter here, Tad, now that he's on the freeway. We're going to turn on uh, speed tracking with SkyMap 7. We're going to see what his speeds are. 100 miles an hour right away. I mean, almost 110. He is just hauling in the right shoulder. He's not even in lanes right now. He's on that right shoulder, 120 miles an hour. So we're going to widen out just a little bit to see how fast he's passing. Because if he wrecks, we're going to go right through it because we're too tight there. So we're going to stay a little bit wider, slow down a little bit. But you saw him on that right shoulder doing 110 miles per hour. That is ridiculously crazy, dangerous driving here as we continue on the 405. Okay, it looks like we're Roscoe Boulevard. Are we going to get off at Roscoe here? It looks like we are. We're going to be exiting Roscoe, right near the Galpin Ford dealership here, off the 405, still in the van. Whoa! Oh-ho! Somebody's mirror. Got it, thank you. Uh, wrong side of the road. No! Now you can see these high speeds, these, are, these quick maneuvers back and forth. This is a larger car, full-size Chrysler 300. Uh, you know, it is kind of a sporty car, but, uh, but being taken to these types of extremes, and whoa, up onto the curb. Oh, thank goodness there was nobody at that bus stop. Uh, this is the type of stuff we've been seeing all afternoon, or off the afternoon since we've been over it, which has been pretty short before we got it on to live on television. This guy armed, that's what they're saying. Now that kind of confirmation we will pick that up later on. But as we understand it, carjacking, again, question mark in my voice, because we're hearing from another source that this may just be a straight stolen vehicle. Right now, though, I can tell you, just by looking at it, extremely crazy driving out here. We've made that turn. We're back uh, southbound on Balboa, uh, slowing down a lot, of, a lot of traffic out here this afternoon. If you know somebody that's in the area, on the streets, give them heads up that this is going on because no lights and sirens behind this crazy driver this afternoon. Uh, in a hurry to hurt somebody, maybe. This is crazy driving. Wiggling, excellent, excellent adjective. He is, that car, he's making that thing wiggle. He's hitting those, that steering wheel so hard it just kind of wobbles around. Uh, but he's driving very fast, no regard for any other vehicles. We saw him make contact with one other car, losing a mirror earlier on when he got off of it. Roscoe. He was on the freeway for just a moment. I don't think that there's any kind of plan to this guy's driving. Basically what this guy is doing right now, he's just using opportunity, a wrong side of the road, avoiding, a, avoiding another collision right there. And this is what's making it so dangerous. And again, just high speeds this af afternoon, trying to get away from the officers. They have the helicopter overhead. They have one unit behind them. But they, you know, this person, dangerous. They need to get this person off the streets. Northbound, wrong side of the road. R wrong side of the road, got a little squirrely right there. I believe we're gonna be on White Oak. More erratic, this is basically what we've been seeing the whole time. I believe we're on White Oak right now. We're gonna be northbound on White Oak. We just passed through Van Owen. The next major is probably gonna be Sherman Way. You know, there, what can you do? What can the officers do to bring this to an end? They've been trying to do this, kind of just letting it go a little bit, just relaxing, just falling back. Just went Sherman Way right there, but you saw that. It just blew right through that light, no regard. Very lucky for the public that nobody's been injured. This driver, 
no regard this afternoon, or that's the way it seems. But uh, it, how are they going to bring this to an end? That's that's the big question. LAPD coming up to another intersection. You see those brake lights coming on. Hard turn. Hop oh, There you go. That's another car he hit. Oh, jeez. And, and now you're seeing some, some damage to the front of the car right there. We're going to swing this the helicopter around a little bit. That's right. You know what? And did you see that accident? I feel bad for those people that uh, that were on the other side of that. Front of the car now, very damaged. You can see that front fender, the driver front fender, just crumpled up. A lot of smoke. Whoa! Oh! You know, it, 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 you just, every time we go through those intersections right now at these high speeds, I'm just thinking to myself, please, 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 nobody in that intersection. He's continuing on right now. You can see that car doing what you're saying, wiggling even higher speeds now that he's been in that collision parts of the car coming off as he's driving tires they seem to have held through that crash coming up on balboa we're on satakoy and through balboa and this is in this street right here there's a big hairpin coming up he does he's gonna have to make some kind of hard maneuver uh, as, and he's keeping up these high speeds we're gonna stay a little bit wider i'm just hoping that there's no other people that are going to be involved if this comes to a crashing end there's the turn right there that's going to be havenhurst that's going to be a hard turn and he's swinging it around on havenhurst right there and it continuing on heading back over towards sherman way so you can see how fast this guy's going now the car is damaged armed I, I am I am just at a loss for words I couldn't imagine being law enforcement in this situation what to do to keep the public safe this person a complete menace we've seen several collisions one I would call more than moderate coming up on Sherman Way I uh, just passed uh, uh, yeah we already passed it past Sherman Way and uh, just continuing on now southbound on Van Owen extremely high speeds this afternoon Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh. The car is the car is stopped. Guy is out right. He has a weapon or he has something in his hand. Can't say for sure if that's a gun, but he has definitely something in it. He just put it in his pocket. Could have been a cell phone. But this is what officers have to deal with. Gosh only knows what he had, but he was definitely holding on to it in his in his pocket in his right hand pocket. Officers from LAPD coming up on him right there, taking him into custody. A little bit of a struggle. He's down on the ground. We'll find out if that was a weapon or a cell phone, but some scary moments for sure. LAPD, wow, wow, what, a, what an end for this, bringing this thing to an end right now. We're going to check on those other, those other drivers here in just a moment, but uh, definitely some tense moments right there. It's going, to be Van, uh, it's going to be Van Owen and Havenhurst is where that last accident happened car you know and that is law enforcement this is our LAPD you know sometimes they get a bad rap but they are our LAPD they protect us out here and this is what they were doing they we've been having all these talks about pursuits and how to handle them they were in the area they weren't right behind them they were ready to pounce when the opportunity presented it presented and he, they took this guy into custody. We're gonna move Sky 9 around just a little bit here to get a little better shot of that suspect. And then of course, I wanna take a look and make sure that, that those innocent people that were involved in that collision are okay. Uh, but wow, what an ending for sure. LAPD bringing this to an end. And it, you know, hopefully just minor injuries to some public, but that suspect this afternoon in custody for sure.